Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we are ranking all 33 legendary skins in Fortnite from worst to best. And yes, this is an updated version. As about four or five months ago, I made another video that was exactly the same as this. But instead of ranking all 33 legendary skins, back about four months ago, there was about six legendary skins that were out. So I thought now would be probably the best time to go ahead and make this video ranking all of these legendary skins from worst to best. Now, I hope you guys do go ahead and enjoy this video. I hope Maybe also go ahead and just respect my opinion some choices that I made on this list You guys might really like the last one on the list um, Or not like the first one on the list, but it is just my personal opinion on my favorite legendary skins inside of Fortnite But yeah without waiting any longer make sure you go ahead and smash the like button if you do enjoy the video And also subscribe to the channel and chuck on the notification bell if you want to stay up to date with all of my content Coming inside of the future of the channel, but anyway without waiting any longer. Let's get into this video Alright, there's really not much to say about some of the uh, bottom skins on this list other than they're just trash. So I'm just going to really just speed through the bottom ones on the list. Um, so yeah, now last spot. If you do like this skin, I apologize, but it's just my least favorite skin in the game. This is the Criterion. I just think it's like the female version of the Carbide and it is just such a bad skin. I'm sorry to say there's nothing else I can say about that. And next one on the list, we have the Flytrap, which once again is just... It's just a horrible skin. I don't think, I think it's a legendary skin that didn't come with a back bling and it just looks trash as well. So you don't get a back bling and you get a trash skin for $25. Doesn't sound like a good deal for me. The fly trap is just a pretty trash skin. Um, the next one on the list is the Moisty Merman. Now we're starting to get into skins that aren't completely trash. The Moisty Merman has a pretty decent back bling and the skin is just not really good looking. It's not ugly. Um, it's just not good looking. It's just in the lower tier compared to some of the other legendary skins. We also have the Vertex skin, which once again, there's not much I can really say about this skin either. It's just not one of my favorite skins. I didn't buy it because it's a waste of 25 bucks in my opinion, and there's nothing much I can really say about that. Now, now our next legendary skin is actually the Carbide skin. Now, the Carbide was obviously in our Season 4 um, shop, and it is a pretty bad skin. Now, the thing about the Carbide is it come alongside the Mega, a Mega, and the Omega looked amazing when he got like his max upgrades and the Carbide just looked, yeah, it's the Carbide. It really wasn't a good skin. They could have done so much better with it, I think. Um, but yeah, the Carbide, not not an amazing legendary skin, not the worst, not the best. In our next spot, we also have the Havoc. Now, the Havoc is um, actually a free skin that you get through your free Twitch Prime trial and um, you could go ahead and get yourself the Havoc. It's a pretty OG skin now because it came back, I think it was couple of months ago, probably about three, two months ago, um, when this was available in Twitch Prime. Not available anymore, but it's not a bad looking skin, honestly, dude. We're getting into the skins now that aren't really bad looking. Um, these are skins that I actually do use on occasion myself, but just nowhere near as good as the higher part of that list. But yeah, that is the Havoc. Next up is a skin I wish I didn't buy. This is the Wukong. You know, it's a decent skin. I just think it's got one of the worst. I think it's the worst back bling in the game. And the skin is just, yeah, I really just didn't think I, I don't really want it. I, I got it once. I'm like, okay, it's going to be pretty rare, bro. Um, it's only Chinese New Year once a year, right? Nope. They bring it They bring it back like once every single fortnight. I swear. See what I did there, guys. Um, But yeah, our next one on the list is the Leviathan. I think a lot of people hate on this skin a lot. I just don't think it's that bad of a skin. Um... Obviously, the back bling is actually pretty cool. It goes well on some characters really well and others really badly. And yeah, obviously, it's the Viathan. Not a bad skin. And the next one on the list is the Visitor. Now, the Visitor is such a trash skin. I'm not even going to lie. Um, the only good thing about it is the back bling, which is why it's so high up on the list compared to, like, the last spot. But yeah, I think the back bling is actually pretty decent. Um, the new um, Chomp Senior skin that actually came out today, me making this video, actually goes really well with the, uh, the, the Visitor back bling. So yeah, it just looks absolutely amazing on that and next spot is the valor now the valor was the season was it season yeah it was season four like tier 70 skin and honestly it's an okay looking skin i just think the hair on the skin just ruins it but other than that it's honestly a quite uh, good looking skin it goes well with a couple of good back blings as well and yeah it's it's decent tier 70 skin you think would be a little bit better but hey it is what it is and our next spot kind of looks like the valor a little bit it's like red. So this is the Triceratops. It's honestly a really good skin, but 
compared to the other skins that I've got after this, it just isn't good enough. I'm sorry. I know a couple of guys, I know a couple of friends that went ahead and bought this skin, and then they're like, dude, it looks so cool. And the next minute, they go ahead and refund it because it's like, yeah. Uh, compared to the other skins, it's not very good. So, yeah, honestly, I rate this skin a little bit, um, but not as much compared to the rest on the list. And next up, we have the Omen. I bought this skin just for the cape. I think the cape just looks really weird. I don't know. I don't know. The skin looks kind of weird as well. I much prefer its um, opposite partner, the Fate, over the Omen. But the cape does look... Eh. It looks... Eh. It's, I'm not a big fan of it, but hey, it's a cape, so it has to look good, right? The next spot is the Raptor. Pretty plain legendary skin, that's why it's so low on the list, but I think it looks really nice, but it's just a little bit plain. Um, if I'm spending 25 bucks on a skin, I want to get something a little bit better than the Raptor. Um, and our next spot is obviously another Battle Pass skin, and this is the Dark Voyager. Now, the Dark Voyager was, it was, well, it was about tier 70 season 3 as well. So yeah, these tier 70 skins, you know, they're, they're, on, they're here on the list um, pretty low. You would think they'd be pretty high after tier 70. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it is what it is. Our next spot on the list, I actually gone ahead and bought myself as well. This is the Sky Stalker. The back bling actually looks pretty decent. I rate the back bling. The skin also looks pretty decent. So that's why it's kind of in like the middle of our list here. And the next up, we have the um, female version of the Omega. And this is the Oblivion. Now the Oblivion, honestly, I rate it, dude. I just don't like the back bling on it. It's just like a weird, like, McDonald's M, kind of. It, it, that's kind of what it looks like, except it doesn't have the last arch, but... It, it, let's just say it does, okay? Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that skin at all. But next up, we have a skin that I'm a big fan of. This is the Reaper. Now, this the Reaper was really cool um, in Season 3. It was a T100 skin in Season 3. It was really cool to have uh, because I actually bought all the tiers for Season 3. It was really cool to have at the start. And then at the end of Season 3, when everyone had the skin, I kind of didn't like it anymore because everyone had it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, but yeah, and next one on the list, you guys might think, hey, this should be number one. But... I'm eh, not a big fan, dude. I like the skin, but I think there is better. This is the crack shot. Um, crack shot, you know, it's it is what it is. It's the crack shot. It's the Christmas skin. Hasn't it's pretty rare. Well, it is very rare compared to a lot of other skins. Apparently, it's meant to be coming back, but hey, you never know. Um, but yeah, this uh, crack shot skin. It's just got that really big head, dude. But honestly. We're getting into our really good legendary skins here, if I'm going to be honest. So, yeah, don't, if you have this skin, don't be offended because I still think it is a very good skin. Um, but de not one of my favorites, that's all I'm going to say. Now, our next part is... It's, it's, it's just saved by the back bling, honestly, dude. Now, this is the Rex. Now, the Rex, bro, it is really a bad skin. I'm not even going to lie. But the back bling, dude, is just absolutely insane, man. The back bling for the Rex goes with everything. Like, you would think, oh, dude, um... It, it wouldn't go with, for say, the crack shot. It was on our last one on the list. But guess what? You'd think red and green, it wouldn't go together too well. Well, actually, it kind of does because it's like the Christmas thing. But let's just say that it doesn't, okay? Um, it, it just seems to go with every skin. Well, most skins at least. Um, the, the wings go with like 100% of skins. This goes with about, let's say, 95% of skins. And it just looks absolutely amazing, man. I absolutely love the back bling on the Rex. That's why it's so high up. And that's the only reason why I bought the Rex. I don't think I've ever actually used the Rex the skin. Um, but yeah, that, it is what it is. Now, our next one is the Love Ranger. Obviously, once again, the skin's mediocre, but the Love Wings goes with 100% of all skins. So that's why um, this skin is saved. It is saved. The Love Ranger is saved from the back bling. Once again, like the Rex. And next up, we have a pretty new skin, which I ranked really high. I, was, I wanted to buy this, but I didn't. Because I made, a, I made a promise to myself that I only have 4,000 V-Bucks in my account left. I'm like, I'm never buying V-Bucks again. So I'm saving this for the best of the best skins. And um, yeah, the Magnus, dude. Um, it is a pretty decent skin. The cape on it, I think it's the best cape that we've seen in the game so far. Actually, no, probably the Ragnarok T100 skin is a little bit better. But definitely one of the best capes that we've seen so far. And it really just makes the skin. Obviously, it's that Viking skin. It looks amazing. I love it. And next up, just a little bit above it, which I just like a little bit more than this skin, is the Battle Hound, just because it likes, just, it's all gold and it looks mad. And then it's got the really cool uh, back bling on it as well. Um, so yeah, that is the Battle Hound there. And then following that, we have the Omega, specifically the tier 100 version, or like the, the max upgraded version of the Omega. I think he looks the best. You can change the colors on him. Obviously a tier 100 skin, probably one of the best tier 100 skins we've seen so far. Um, and just above him is another tier 100 skin, and this is the Ragnarok. Now the Ragnarok is a pretty solid skin, man. Probably the best tier 100 skin we've seen so far, I believe. The upgrades to it are absolutely amazing. It comes with its own back bling when you upgrade it, which is really, really cool as well. Um, and yeah... 
such a good skin you know it's got those blue eyes it's got the skull mask when you get it maxed up and it looks absolutely mint and just above that we have the cuddle team leader now the cuddle team leader uh, obviously it's another valentine skin just like before we had the love ranger but the cuddle team leader i think is a lot better i think it comes with a really good back bling with the cuddle bow and it's just overall a pretty good skin i remember um in the last video i made about um a all ranking all uh, legendary skins from worst to best. I did Cuddle Team Leader last, I think. And that is saying something because there mustn't have been many skins out if I had the Cuddle Team Leader last. But I really didn't like it back then. But now, bro, I don't know what it is. I love this skin. I bought it like three... It came out like three times and I bought it like the fourth time it came out. I'm like, eh. No, I actually like this skin now. And yeah. Um, and our next spot, we have the skin that came out today, which is the Chomp Senior. I think it's a really, really good looking skin. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a fan favorite among everyone. Obviously, we have the Chomp Senior and Chomp Junior. Um, and yeah, honestly, pretty decent skin. I want to buy it with my 4,000 V-Bucks left to my account. But I'm like, no, nah, I'm not doing it, man. I'm not doing it. And uh, we have the Dark Vanguard next up. I put it above the Dark Voyager. Quite a little bit above the Dark Voyager. Dark Voyager a little bit down. I don't know what it is, dude. I just like this skin a lot better. I think it's the, the colors are more vibrant. Um, and I just think it's honestly a really good looking skin. And it's just a, it's just a, it's a bit better than the Dark Voyager, in my opinion. Some of you guys might disagree with me in that. And now we're in the top about six or seven on this list. And... We only have the best of the best now. This is like the best of the best legendary skins. We have the Fate in this spot. I really wish I bought this over the Omen, but I didn't for some reason. The back bling looked really cool on a whole bunch of skins, especially the Skull Trooper, believe it or not. And I just absolutely love the Fate skin by itself as well. Unfortunately, I didn't go ahead and buy it, but hey, it is what it is, man. And, um, and next up, we have the Red Knight, which probably would have been our number one spot, but it released again, bro, and it just destroyed the rarity aspect of it. So, like, when you look at the skin now, it's like, oh, it's just a default skin, instead of being like, dude, this is a really rare skin. But honestly, the skin looks amazing anyway. The back bling looks amazing. It's an amazing skin. Um, and, yeah, I absolutely love the Red Knight, and it is in about our number five spot. And in our next spot, we have the tier, I mean, the season five tier i think it's like just tier one skin this is the drift now the drift man the drift i love it i love it so much it's like what probably my favorite battle pass skin of all time other than our number one spot but it's my favorite battle pass skin of all time the, my favorite my favorite tier one battle pass skin of all time my second favorite battle pass skin of all time and yeah such a good skin Next up as well, we have another pink skin as well. This is the Power Chord, man. It's got an amazing back bling. A guitar is a back bling. You can't go wrong, man. You can't go wrong. And the skin just looks amazing itself. If it does ever come back out again, I'm copping that straight away, man. And then our number two spot, we have the Raven, which you guys are going to be like, the Raven, bro. Why is it so high, man? Why is it so high? The skin itself just looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. And... I just love the back bling as well. I use the back bling on basically every single skin. It's one of my favorite back blings in the game. The wings, the raven back bling, and the rex are literally just the best back blings. And you can't go wrong with the raven, man. It's such a good skin. I know what this is probably my most controversial thing on the list. You guys are going to be like, bruh, the raven is trash. No, it's not. I really love the skin. I never actually use it by itself. I always use the back bling with everything. But whenever I look at my locker and I see um, the raven skin there, I'm like, hey. That's a good skin. That, that's, that's a really good skin. Um, and yeah, you don't really see everyone using it as well. I'm not sure if everyone just doesn't use it because they don't like it or, or they don't have it or what. But it's starting to become a little bit rare as well. But hey, we'll have to wait and see. And our number one spot is, of course, the Black Knight. It is such a good skin. It just brings back so many memories for me when I went ahead and bought this. Just grinding out the tier 70, dude. It took me so long. So, so much grinding to get that tier 70 to get the Black Knight, which was the max tier for then. And back in Season 2, you had to do daily challenges every day if you wanted to go ahead and tier up. Because there was no weekly challenges. It had to be daily challenges. You had to be on every day grinding out. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to go ahead and end of our video. That is ranking all 33 legendary skins from worst to best inside of Fortnite. Hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for coming out, and peace.